up guys this is Yasu from Propeller Live and welcome to our ninth live stream this week. This week we have Makana from Hooku Aina and we also have AJ a local musician and we're performing live from our lanai so roll the intro. What's up guys, this is Yasu from Propeller Live and I'd just like to say thank you for tuning into our live stream. Um, it's our ninth week since we started the live stream. And for you guys that are watching the live stream for the first time, I'd just like to let you know that we have a weekly vlog that I work very hard on every week. So if you haven't watched that yet, we have a trailer to show you and uh, I hope you enjoy. So we kind of had a goal this year for our YouTube channel. We just made that goal. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel. And also, Brian was eating a lot of it. What is up, guys? This is Yasu from Propeller USA. Oh, sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You like mm. that? Yeah. So that was the highlight of James vlogging. Good work, James. So last week on our live stream, we had Sustainable Coastlines Hawaii, and we were talking about all of the plastic garbage and all of the plastic waste in our oceans and how it ends up on our beaches and how you, as an individual, can help resolve that issue. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? No, I can't hear you when you do that. Oh, I hear an echo. Definitely check out this Friday's live stream with Makana and AJ from 6.30 p.m. on Talk Story with Propeller Live. See you guys Friday. All right, so that's the weekly vlog that we do every week. So definitely go check it out. It's on our YouTube channel. And uh, go like and subscribe. And uh, we also started a GoFundMe, which the link is in the description below. This GoFundMe is going to Hawaii Food Bank. We kind of just want to have something to give back to the community. And uh, all the donations will go to Hawaii Food Bank. So definitely go check that link out and donate a dollar, five dollars. Anything really helps right now. Um, there's a lot of people that will probably appreciate that five dollars more than you do. And go help somebody out. And speaking of helping others, we're also um, doing a free giveaway for local businesses. It's a one hour free video shooting. So if you're a brand, business, or organization that wants to make a video for their social media, um, definitely go check our website out. It's propeller-usa.com. All you have to do is enter your email. You'll have a pop-up and follow us on Instagram and uh, subscribe to us on YouTube and you'll have a chance to win one hour of free video shooting. So that's a great way to boost your um, engagement and kind of boost your activity on social media. So definitely check that out. And uh, with that said, I'd like to move on to our first segment of today's show of Talk Story with Propeller Live. All right, so this week we have Makana from Hooku Aina. And uh, so basically Hooku Aina is they do, or they cultivate tar uh, kalo, and they use that process to educate the youth. And they do a bunch of cool stuff. And we have a cool little video to show you right before I talk to Makana um, to give you guys a better picture of what this place is. So this is, uh, what's up Makana, sorry, to kind of just cut, I caught you kind of in the middle of something. So what's up Makana? How are you? Good, good, good. So let's just kind of connect um, our Instagram and let me pull myself bigger over here. Oh, that's all right. Oh yeah, go ahead and uh, search Propeller USA. <clears throat> Where do I keep my phone? All right, okay. All right, there you go. And then view, if you're I watching it, I should be able to no, invite you. There we go. All right, I'm sending an invitation and adding you. That should be...
sorry everybody on YouTube we're trying to get live on Instagram as well I can hear her. You can't hear? You got it? All right, there you go. All right. Are we good on YouTube? No? I'm not sure. Are you? You're not muted yet because I can hear her. Okay. So let's go on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? <laughs> So let's kind of continue our kind of discussion on Instagram um, while we kind of wait for YouTube to get our audio. Um, so why don't we kind of give um, our people, our two people watching on Instagram, what uh, Ho'okuaina is. So it's more like kind of providing the space. So what's the kind of like the process of growing color? Is it hard? I know that there's a lot of mud involved. I was I was seeing a lot of people jumping into the mud and kind of really getting their hands dirty to really get that process. traditional irrigation systems in the stream. However, our land is a little different in the sense that we have springs. So um, we have these natural springs kind of in the Malka area of Hawaii Marsh. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really rich in fertile soil, clay-like soil. Mm -hmm. However, with that spring uh, environment or landscape, sometimes your, the mud that you're submerged in can go up to your hips or your chest. It really depends. We have a many different patches with many different characteristics. Oh, so during that kind of, how how is it that you guys kind of provide that kind of experience? So how what kind of um, experience do the kids actually get from kind of participating? Hmm. So usually we have a K through twelve or a post high school. Uh, education program where we host a lot of students from all over uh, where they come and get to experience either the weeding or the planting or the harvesting or just the general maintenance and fertilizing mm -hmm. and color and its different processes. Mm -hmm. um, we also have um, a systems apprenticeship where students who maybe aren't so sure what they want to do after high school, um, but they know they're really passionate about Aloha Aina things, which is very common in today's day and age uh, for Hawaiians and for many people from Hawaii, to get involved in land management or land maintenance or just anything that will get our hands back in the mud or back to kind of where we come from. 
So we, we provide an opportunity for them to work and to learn more about Aina and work ethic and land management. However, we also provide a full ride to Windward Community College where we'll pay your tuition and make sure that we are there to support you through your education journey. So that's a new, that's the latest program that I guess we could kind of share with everyone if anyone's interested. Um, and then we also have kind of the main part of what we do, the core part of our programs are our mentoring programs. So you know, um, as humans, we're kind of all at risk and usually there's that term in a lot of social uh, organizations and work. However, we want to provide space for at-risk youth and at-risk people either transitioning out of a correctional facility or just coming from you know, hard situations, tough situations to get out of, creating a safe space and a community to surround and support um, that next phase in life. But, you know, we're all considered at risk and we could all probably use that extra push and that extra community to support. Yeah. Okay, so what, I, I'm, my, in, my, in my head, like, um, I was, you know, I was talking to you a couple of weeks ago, and then you were talking about how um, you guys took that land, or that land, and then you kind of made it into um, what it is now, which was, um, which was probably a really, really hard and long process. Could mm -hmm. you kind of share your story behind that? Yeah. Ah, so, about 13 years ago, uh, Dean and Michelle Wilhelm, I am their eldest offspring, uh, they kind of felt this really strong calling to sell their house and to sell our house and to find Aina and to create a safe community and gathering um, through Aina work or through call cultivation. So sold the house, we eventually found this parcel in Monowili and when we got there it was all just like trash, rubbish, overgrown jungle, like if you ever hiked to Monterey Falls and you see all the jungle around, that's exactly what it was like. Mm -hmm. However, there was thick California grass as far as the eye could see. So in the beginning, everyone thought that we were really crazy or they were really crazy and why would they do this and why would they give everything to have and um, like, why were they so determined? Like, what is this going to be? This isn't a lot <laughs> now. But we have these really cool pictures. I don't know if you've seen our Instagram where there's kind of like the timeline of, you know, over the years, people built here a section by section and eventually get it to what it is today. And it's through the work and the help of thousands and thousands of volunteers that have come. It started simple with just family and a few staff, but now we've turned into a nine staff and close to four or five thousand volunteers a year. So it's really special to see and have, have people come and take part of that process of clearing because it's so rewarding to be able to look back and to be able to feed people and to be able to create this community space that everyone can be a part of. It's not just, you know, Ho'opo Aina and the crew. It's really a place where everyone can take part in the work. So that's, I mean, that's pretty cool because like when you know, like, you know, the drone footage that was in that video, when you look at that, yeah. and you look at the lily fields, and then it's like, oh, that's cool, but then you don't see what it was 13 years ago, right? And you probably remember what yeah. it looked like. So, I mean, that's pretty cool yeah. to actually hear the process of, like, you know, actually opening that space into what it is now. Because it's kind of, it's really hard to imagine what it would be, actually. Yeah, it is. And at a young age, it was hard to... Uh, take part in all the clearing because a lot of it was chainsaws and heavy equipment. Yeah. However, we could never bring um, heavy duty machinery or mm -hmm. like big machinery down mm -hmm. there because of the landscape and because of all oh, so marsh like, kind of spring. Uh, so you couldn't bring like, everything by hand. And big stuff like that. It had no. to be like chainsaws and hand tools. Like, yeah. Because yeah. that's, yeah. that's something that you guys, yeah. what you guys have now, that space right now, is um, you've been expanding it to what it is now over the years, right? It's not something that you guys just did in the first couple of years. Right? Oh, no, no. We just this year, this is 13, 14th year, just this year we kind of niched or reached our end goal, which was to, uh, after doing a land assessment, we kind of calculated that we could potentially 
clear out 23 patches and we met that goal this year and are continuing to clear and continuing to move things so that was really promising um and seeing that we could reach our goal in close to a 10-year mark but seeing the reality of what it takes to clear just the three acre space you know so yeah it's a little it's pretty pretty much so it was pretty much like yeah. a 13 year process to come where, where it is now. And, um, yeah. I guess you guys have been um, growing hollow throughout that process. As well. is, there, is there any mm-hmm. plans for, for the future? Um, uh, not at the moment. Right now we're in a really sweet spot where we can kind of develop more programming and be super consistent with our call production and being able to get that, that out to families and communities. Right now we're at capacity where we could pump out about 30,000 pounds of kalo each year, which we're super excited about. Um, however, it's not enough. We can barely meet the demand. So the goal is to start, you know, looking to expand, however that may seem. And information might come soon of how we might do that. So um, this is, a, I'm just curious, but like out of that many, um, you know, I mean, how much, uh, how much pounds you said? 3,000? 30,000. 30,000 pounds of color. What happens to that? What do you do? Uh, we usually have poi days. We make a lot of poi. We have a commercial kitchen where we process poi. We also sell raw color, um, cooked kalo, all different. During COVID, we've just been doing raw kalo orders, and people buy lao for luau and stuff like that, or lala. Um, but yeah, just getting it out to either other community organizations that are able to distribute it to families, or families coming to pick up just for themselves, or for their kupuna or anything. So, during COVID, the demand has doubled, and our orders have doubled, and we've realized kind of the importance of needing to grow more food and specifically cobble. There's a high demand, which is really exciting. So, um, I don't know for some, sorry, our YouTube is not, um, the audio, do, do they hear my voice on YouTube? Oh, they hear my voice, but they can't hear it. Okay. 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 I can hear him. But YouTube, you know. oh, it's working now? Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for the heads up, guys. So, uh, YouTube is working now, so um, uh, I kind of finished the interview with you. But um, so, Poku Aina, definitely check them out. I think you are there. You guys are YouTube, or not your YouTube. Your Instagram handle is right below you. Um, definitely check them out and uh, check out their website, stuff, their Instagram, and um, they're doing some super cool stuff. So, um, sorry for the technical difficulties, Makana. Um, I really appreciate you joining and really appreciate your time today. Awesome. Mahalo me for having us. Mahalo. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. So that-
tell you the truth. You got all the body, sorry, not sorry. I just really focus on you, pretty mommy shoes. Just for you, I'm putting out for two. I'll pick you up in my 89 Corolla, drive around to we over eat my motor, sit right there. I'll sing for you, my dear, the poor man blue. What's up, guys? This is Yasu back with you on our lanai. Uh, thanks for holding up with us if you are still here. I uh, appreciate the patience. So, right now we're on our lanai. This is AJ right over here. And 
and uh, we got a performance for you. So uh, I'm just going to give the stage to him, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. So family, how we feeling out there? Thank you for joining us tonight on Propel Alive. Shout out the whole crew, I know. I've educated the kids, you know what I mean? All alone at the end of the evening And the bright lights are fading to blue I was thinking about a woman that might love me And I never knew You know I've always been a dreamer Spent my life running around So hard to change Couldn't seem to settle down The dreams I'm dreaming lately Keep on turning out The burning out The turning out The same So put me If it all fell to pieces tomorrow, would you still be mine? And when you're looking for your freedom, nobody seems to care. You can't find the door, you can't find it anywhere. There's nothing. music for you. Take you back a little bit with that one. But uh, up next we got some uh, island music, island country music for you. This is by the, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Blaine is saying this is called Poor Man Blues. Goes to something like this. Check it out. Just because I don't have money Doesn't mean I can't love you, honey Just for you I'm putting out for two I pick you up in my 89 Corolla Drive around to Weaver If my motor sit right there I'll see for you, my dear the poor man blue Boss man says son you've been slipping I check it now when you punch a knee ticket I know it's true but now we can see it too I 
said, hey the folks, how you doing, mister? You're flipping me off and I'm a little bit of a long. Oh, it goes on, the porn man blue. Job now I don't have a payday. What to do? Sit down and drink a two. Gonna sit down to enjoy a little sunshine because I know it's gonna be alright. I lift my chin. I'm gonna take this in at the pond man. So family, once again, if y'all are just joining us here on Propeller Live USA, my name is Isaiah Jacobs. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Isaiah Jacobs. That's with an A, A-I-S-A-I-A-H. Um, but uh, up next, some, uh, some more country music for you. By the man Lee Bryce. Shout out to the boys of Molly for covering this one. Go somewhere, check it out. Sure. 
let them down, tell them all they're crazy. I can do whatever you want me to do, baby. You can lay one on me right now. We can really give them something to talk about. There's a rumor going round about me and you. Stirring up a little town last week or two. So tell me why Called rumor. Thank you. All right, everybody. We're gonna pick up the bass a little bit with this next one. Uh, some reggae music for you. Take you guys to. Uh, the UK with this next one, some UB40 music for you, check it out. Yeah. 
you can satisfy I got the bottle, bring me a cup Pop the cork and try to stop When you're in the RV, you up You're drinking up till the sun come up Oh no, no, yeah music for you. Everything you say, cause there's no one 
I'm in my drop top, cruising the street. 
I got a real pretty, real pretty thing that's waiting for me. I put a love anticipating. Good love can't keep me waiting. I got plans to put my hands in places they've never seen. Girl, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm gonna take you to a place that's nice and quiet. Where there ain't no one else to interrupt. Ain't got to rush. I just wanna take it nice and slow. See, I've been waiting for this for so long. I make it love until the sun comes out, baby. I just wanna take it nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh no 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 no, no. nice and slow. Cause it's your love that I'm waiting on. It's your love that I'm running from. It's your love that I'm waiting on. It's my love that you're running from. My love, my love. No, no, no. It's a while away. A medley of uh, lovers music for you. Little tune up real quick, real quick. Once again, family, my name is AJ. Thank you guys so much for tuning in tonight. I got some more music for you. Let me take y'all back with this dance. Check it out.
to tumble to the sea I won't cry, I won't cry No, I won't shed one tear Just as long as you stay Stand by me So darling, darling, stand by me That's why it'll never work. You love me suicidal, suicidal when you say it's over. Damn all these beautiful girls, they only wanna do you dirt. They love you suicidal, suicidal when you say it's over. See it up in at the park, just they chill up the dark. Oh, when you took my heart, that's when we fell apart. Cause we both thought that love lasts forever. They say we too young to get ourselves wrong. Oh, we didn't care, we made it very clear. And they also said that we wouldn't last together. Say. You see, it's very divine, yo. What of a kind, but you mash up my mind. You had to get declined, no oh, lot. My baby is driving me crazy. You're way too beautiful, girl. That's why it'll never work. You love me suicidal, suicidal. When you say it's over, damn all these beautiful. Girls, they only want to do you dirt. They love you suicidal, suicidal. When they say it's over. See, it was back in 99, watching movies at the time. Oh, and I went away from doing my first crime. And I never thought that we were gonna see each other. And then I came out, pump and pulled me down south Oh, I'm with my girl who I thought was my world But it came out to be that she wasn't the girl for me Yo, yo, you see it's very divine, yo What of a kind, but you mash up me mind You want to get declined, no oh, lot My baby's driving me crazy Girl, that's why it'll never work. Your love is suicidal, suicidal. When you say it's over, damn all these beautiful girls. They only wanna do you dirt. They love you suicidal, suicidal. When they say it's over. But if I'm so uh, up next, some more uh, lovers' music for you. Some Dan O'Shea music, a uh, little, little country music. Those are some of them. Check it out. I can honestly understand why it's over. I can go through the motions of walking away I can give you the keys to take my things back I can find plenty of things to fill my days But I don't know how not to think about you 
When it's late at night and quiet, I don't know that I ought to be the one who is strong and just moves on. I probably turn on your road, knock, knock on your door, fall back in your arms, wake up in the morning, hating myself for the way that I can now, the way I still want you. Second nature, baby, you're just like breathing. A melody here we can forget. Time goes by and I still need you. Yeah, you were the heartbreak with no regret. But I don't know I'm not to think about you when it's late at night. The way I still want you Just don't know how not to How not to How not to Just don't know how not to How not to How not to Oh, oh, oh. Hey I don't know how not to Think about you when it's late at night and quiet, I don't know that I ought to be the one who is strong and just moves on. I probably turn on your own, knock, knock on your door, fall back in your arms, wake up in the morning, hating myself in a way that I can't help, the way I still want you. Just don't know how not to, how not to, how not to. Just don't Down to shame music. Sorry, not sorry. Go do something like this. Hope you all enjoy it. Well, she's been placed one way before. Cause I know I've seen those eyes. And her face I do adore. I'm more and more with that smile. The way she's licking that lips. I'm such a sucker. I gotta get up and say some to it. You are focused on my love. So I'ma tell you the truth. We got hard it, but it's sorry, not sorry. I'm just really focused on you, pretty for me too. And I love it. You got hard it, but it's sorry, not sorry. I'm just really focused on you, pretty for me too, yeah. And I love it. Hey. Now I'ma try my best to get through to you. My mind has been a mess since you showed up I ain't never made you girl But I'm loving everything I'm seeing 
I'm home with me right now. I'm gonna make you smile. You really feel me up inside, so I'ma give it a shoot. You really got all your body, sorry, not sorry. I just really focus on you, pretty mommy, it's true. And I love it. You got all your body, sorry, not sorry. I just really focus on you, pretty mommy, it's true, yeah. And I love it, hey, I love it, baby. So I got a few more songs before we call it an evening over here at uh, Propeller. But uh, once again, thank you to the people at Propeller. We love you guys. With this sick setup, man, they've been treated so well over here. They even give me a zip pack. That goes Ono. But uh, for the lovers out there. Starts with the coffee and ends with the wine. Takes forever to get ready, so she's never on time for anything. When she gets there, come get me. Look in her eyes, well, it kind of scares me. We that she drives me wild. She drives me wild Beautiful, crazy She can't help but amaze me The way that she dances And afraid to take chances Wears her right on her sleeve Yes, she's crazy But her crazy is beautiful Face plans for the weekend, can't wait to go out till she changes her mind. Says, let's stay on the couch and watch TV. But she falls asleep. Beautiful, crazy, she can't help but obey. Crazy is beautiful to me. 
such a fool Girl, I'm such a fool for her Beautiful, crazy, she can't help but Amaze me the way that she dances And the way to take chances Wears her out on her sleeve Yeah, she's crazy She's crazy, well, she's crazy But if crazy is beautiful to me But crazy Some Luke Holmes music right there. It's called Beautiful Crazy. Day after day, I'm more confused. Look for a light in the pouring. That's a game I hate to lose And I'm feeling ashamed When a shame Oh, give me the beat, boys I'm free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away Give me the beat, boys I'm free my soul To think I'm wasting time I don't believe the things that I do The world outside looks so unkind And I'm counting on you Come and carry me through Oh, give me the beat for the free my soul I wanna get lost in the rock and roll That you're giving me Want you to know I believe in your soul Rhythm, rhyme, and harmony It take me long When you sing with my song oh, Free the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost to your rock and roll yeah Give me the beat, boys, and free my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll And drift away, drift away, drift away Free by 
my soul I wanna get lost in your rock and roll and drift away Won't you take me away Falling. I just can't stop falling. 
just can't stop Wanna be you, girl, I just can't stop Wanna be you, just can't stop Wanna be you, girl, I just can't stop Wanna be you, just can't stop Wanna be you, girl, I just can't stop Wanna be you, just can't stop Wanna be you, girl, I just can't stop Falling for you, baby Buddy family. So once again, my name is Isaiah Jacobs. You can call me AJ. But uh, this, this was my last song of the evening, but we'd like to thank you guys for tuning in tonight, supporting local artists, businesses, whatever it may be. That's what the Pella's is all about, so go check them out. I'll leave you all with uh, some reggae music for you. Dedicate this one to the late Tootsie from Toots and Mitles. Something like this, check it out. Right now, someone else has a number.
Give it to me two times. Give it to me three times. Give it to me four times. Once again, y'all, my name is AJ. Thank you so much. Aloha and good night. Thank you. Absolutely. And that was awesome. And I heard you have a restaurant that you guys have. Yes, me and uh, me and my brothers and my father own a restaurant out in Kapolei. It's uh, called Moani Island Bistro and Bar. It's very Ono food, Ono music, Ono people. Yeah, so uh, come check us out if you guys are ever in the Kapolei area. We are open from 3 to 10 p.m. Uh, I play there every Sunday, and I also play with my brothers. Uh, Micah G and Kayla from the Green every Wednesday, so you can come and check us out over there. All right, so uh, if you would like to hear more of this beautiful music uh, every Sunday, right, go check yep. us out. And again, thank you so much, AJ, for, to, uh, for joining us today with our live stream, and I will see you guys next Friday.